G'day, mates. In today's video, I'm kicking off with an absolute treat for you guys. All the best reactions from the semifinals. Obviously, like a reboot round, if you win, you go through the grand finals, and you guys always love looking at the reactions, and today's was some of the best. We had absolutely incredible hype. We had console players qualifying for grand finals. We had pro players going on social media to call out other pros who doubted them after they qualified. It was hilarious. There's so many good reactions in here, and also, of course, at the end of today's video, I'm going to talk about all the teams who did and didn't qualify qualify because that is it for semi-finals we now have grand finals around the corner and was the last chance to qualify and some huge teams missed out there's a lot to talk about let's just jump into it just quickly before we jump into today's video i want to give a huge shout out and thank you to today's sponsor buff we featured them on the channel before but in case you don't know who they are buff is an app authorized by the overwolf platform it has over 3.5 million users the way it works is simple you run it on the background of your pc where you play all your favorite games fortnite league of legends valorant and so many more and while you're doing that you're earning buff points you then go to the buff store and you can see all the amazing things you can buy with buff points you can buy steam gift cards you can buy games you can buy hardware all the things you need for gaming by earning them while playing games. It literally is that simple. Also, I know the main concern, oh, is it gonna tank my hardware? Am I gonna have terrible frames? No, you can even check while you're running in the background. I guarantee you will not notice the dip in performance. It is honestly just that good. You have no reason not to give it a go. Click the link in the description down below. Let me know how you go. I already know you're gonna love it. Thank you so much to Buff. Now, let's look at some of your guys' favorite parts of the season, every season, which is mine as well. It's looking at the reactions of people who win and know they're going through to grand finals. And the first one for me, which is absolutely the funniest by far, was Trulex and Chico and their lack of chemistry when it came to just celebration. I mean, just, just take a look. You'll know what I mean. Zone, zone, zone. Give me, give me. Set your zone, set your zone. You get the finish, Fazi. Let's go! Nice. Nice. What? Nice. Nice. Dva kill in. Nice. I've just never seen one teammate be so incredibly hyped to another teammate being so chill to the point that it just brought the other teammates hype from like 11 back down to zero bar. Super, super funny to see how two different players handled that one. It was great to see. Next up, still on EU as well. And this one did surprise a lot of people. When Leshy and Swilliam qualified, a lot of people surprised by that. Swilliam coming off of Asia, playing with Leshy, who has been out of form for a few seasons now, hasn't been qualifying a lot, but recently has been tweeting and been talking about how good he feels of the game he just feels like something changed and he's just going demon mode and he proved it and their celebration was so incredibly hype let me show you okay alles gut unter mir unter mir Ich hab null. Ich hab, ich, hab ein, ich hab ein, ich hab ein. Ich hab gar keine Mats mehr. Ich, ich falle fast runter. Ja, ich auch. 120, cracked. Nice. Ich ja, weiß cracked. 140. Nice. Perfekt. Letzte. Let's go. 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 It jumps gesund. I feel like the reactions so far have been good. They've been funny, a little bit wholesome, but I need that full, just hype, just just ear bursting energy. And that is what Vortex here and Castery brought to their win. I mean, just I'm gonna get my editor to turn it down, but a bit of a volume check on this one. They they shot up. Fine. Yeah, I'll pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Nice. I'll pull it. I'll pull it. I got one build. Come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come Wait, 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 First 
time I throw on this one of the channel, that just doesn't do it. It wasn't just Vortexia and Castries in game reaction. I want to give you Vortexia's reaction in real life or a little bit of a call out of the people who've been doubting him on socials because I love the confidence. I hope he shows up in grants because he's talking a lot of smack, but he qualified. I love it. You, you all egoed me, you all egoed me, and half of you didn't make his, the other half of you are still playing, and you're gonna keep playing because you're not, you're not gonna quote, but I have, I've some people were super excited to have qualified to be in the grand finals. They're going to start grinding, instantly hit the book, start VOD reviewing. OCE pros do it different. One of my favorite people in the world, Tecma, was just pretty excited to get off Fortnite. Uh, uh, this I'm getting off. This man, I'm on Valorant yeah, now, I'm off. Yeah, yeah. I know I said in a recent video, I'm not going to be shouting out console players as much. Not because what they're doing isn't impressive, but they're doing it so often that it almost feels patronizing to keep mentioning. But making grand finals is a different story and doing it on the back of a victory royale. I got to give a big shout out to Dag Beast, who is the console player, and Remy, who is his teammate, who I believe is on PC. But this is their reaction to qualifying on console to grand finals in NA West. I'm in a box. Getting the win to qualify to Grand Finals is one thing, but doing it in the final game of the final day is where all the hype is, when it's literally your last chance to qualify, and that's exactly what Turtle Tavern did, and of course, it was pretty damn hyped. Nice. On me, on height. On me, on height, on height, cuts. Die. Let's go! Let's go, bro! Let's go! Let's go, bro! All right, we've looked at all the wholesome reactions of who made it through and who qualified, but now let's talk about who didn't qualify. And obviously I haven't showed the reaction from everyone. Some of these guys made it off consistency. I'm not gonna go through and talk about every single person who qualifies. It's gonna take way too long. I didn't make yesterday's video because I didn't feel like talking about that would be exciting enough for its own video. I really wanted to get all the hype reactions today and just talk about everyone who made it to Grand and who didn't because now it's confirmed. If you don't see people on the Fortnite tracker in the top 12 in day three, they didn't make it through. So if you want to see the full list just go to fortnite track and go to semi-finals day three anyone outside the top 12 hasn't made it but let's talk about the big names at least on na east and eu so na east going down the board we really did have some get so close we had slacks and clarity g only a couple places off we had sparebo's team up there as well p god and elise start off the tournament so strong but unfortunately a 39th 28th and 33rd in their last three games was disaster for the hispanic duo yuz and okus out of tilt that i had high hopes but unfortunately fell short Voiland Exit, this is now very big for Clicks and Day because it means Clicks and Day should have uncontested Joneses because Voiland Exit are the main team dropping on them. Mega and Dubs, and this one was heartbreaking. The, the OG duo, the most OG duo since before World Cup. They needed a win in their last game and they got a three Elim second place. It came down to a 1v1 with Dubs and unfortunately just wasn't able to clinch it. Ran out of mats on the low ground. It was really rough to see. We were all cheering him on the viewing party. He came 
so close and just fell short. We had Glace and Chucky after almost qualifying day one, unfortunately also not making it. Skittles and Tragic switched up their drop spot to go Covert Cavern and unfortunately didn't pay off for them. They were close, but they started off strong and fizzled out a little bit towards the end. Tahi and Edgy, and this was a really surprising one, not just because it's Tahi and Edgy, but they've been playing really well this season. They won the first Duo Cash Cup. They have two eights and a third place less than two weeks ago. So they were coming into it looking really good in set lobbies and they just didn't pull it off. And I actually really, really like their response as well. We had Tahi who, oh, sorry, had Edgy tweet out, Welp, I was the problem. GG's go next. Not blaming the game, not blaming the meta, blaming himself. But I also love Sprite, uh, Tahi's response. Sorry, what are you saying, bro? Delete this dumbass. And I love to see that, a teammate backing up his teammate. But again, like Edgy's doing there, this format was pretty good for semifinals. You had to win one of 16 games or get top six, one of three tournaments. They know they were good enough to do that and unfortunately underperformed. It's sad to see, but I love the no excuses from them. This also means Edgy now has played 32 reboot rounds for Grand Royale and now 16 rounds of these semis without being able to get the win. And it's just so unfortunate to see. I don't point that out to call them out. I just, I fear for Edgy's mental health at this point. And I really hope next FNCS, he clutches it up in the early weeks, doesn't leave it to any semifinals or reboot rounds because honestly, Edgy and Tahi are good enough for that. Edgy as well. So sad to see, but from what I can see, I think they're staying together as a team. They know they didn't play the best and they're going to ship it. Uh, they're going to uh, clean up for the next one. We had AV and NCuz also didn't make it through. Quite a few big name teams on NA, but for the most part, all the big names we were cheering on in the final day, like Muzz and Avery, Pam Stu and Fatch, they were able to clutch it up and make it through. Now, first day of EU day two, we had Aqua and Noel Riley win a game. They went straight through. So all eight of my EU predictions did end up making it through in almost the first day. And then a couple of games in a day two. And their East as well, which I was just talked about. Edgy and Tahi were the only team I predicted in my top eight who didn't make it through, which was sad to see. But EU across the board, pretty much all the really big teams made it through. There was a couple of notable exceptions though. Really unfortunate to see Snazy and Nate not make it. They had uncontested Llama split for the start of the tournament. Then they started switching up their drop and changed their priority towards Covert when other teams started to drop on the Llama split. Unfortunately, that led to a drop in their consistency. Their last two games being a 32nd and a 27th, and that was the difference. If they'd gotten 15 more points, they would have qualified. This does have a big impact for the grand finals. This means Pink and Anas should be uncontested on the Llama split, which makes them honestly a top three of my predictions to go through and do well in the grand finals. We also missed out on Flowers and Andretta. They came 20th overall, but unfortunately for them, them. They did it with five games. I believe Flowers didn't connect to game three. It caused an error and Flowers and Andretta had to do it one game down. Really, really sad to see for this duo. We also had Kylie and Fastroki. We had Force and Wings. Obviously, after Swilliam and the other Asia guys made it through, I was really, really hoping Force could do it, but unfortunately fell short. Uh, we had uh, Raxish's team. We had Hardfine and Nova Splash. We had Cheaton, Amplify and Flodax. Obviously, Umpire's had a rough season trying to find new teammates. We also had Rotary up there as well. Slove Mr. J and Wolfie. There was a lot of really good teams, as you imagine with EU. There's so many good teams. Not everyone can make it through, but all, all things considering, I actually think the EU Grand Finals is almost as stacked as it could be. I'd say the two main teams that I think really should have been there that just missed out was Snazy Teams and Andretta. A few other people close up there on the leaderboard, but those are the two that I was really expecting to make finals, but Grand Finals are still looking phenomenal. All right, guys, that does it for another video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please chuck a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next one.